Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video showing the World of Wards, Steve Ward's rotary divider, which is the electronics to create a CNC driven rotary table. Uh, and I just thought I'd show you the mechanism for actually removing the handle and how I fitted up the stepper motor to this, just because I was taking it apart because I had a bit of an issue with it. I wanted to clean it up. So I thought while I had it all apart, I'd show you that making a quick video. So this is a four inch vertex rotary table. Um, quite simply taking the handle off this and this part comes with the uh, with the with the vice it's uh, sorry with the rotary table itself so remove the handle leave this part on that's the only thing that needs to stay on uh, and then ultimately now you need to get something when I started making this I made it about eight years ago and there wasn't very much out there uh, so I, I'm sh the very well probably come up with a better design than this but it's what I could think of in my head at the time so I made this it was certainly the biggest project I'd done I'd only machining for about six months when I made this maybe even less than that so certainly machine marks in this and it was the biggest piece I've made it's quite chunky so anyway um, ultimately that needs attaching to this section here I appreciate in retrospect now I could have made that longer with some holes in it just threaded the way I decided to design it was have a small lip on there and basically that slides in there and this pulls up to the side so I'll just drop that in there so you can see that's now holding on that lip and then that screws into the three holes there three holes there screw into the three holes there so once that is all on whoop, like so and all screwed down that's all nice and tight and the next thing then that needs inserting is a coupling. I'm just going to grab the coupling. So this is the style of flexible coupling that I use and I think these were brilliant. I got them years ago, like I say about eight years ago from Arc Euro Trade. I'm not too sure whether you can still get them from there or where you can get them from. If you can find these put a link in the description because I wouldn't mind a couple more. Um, and ultimately that screws in on where the handle sits and there is a little window that I milled in the top there so that I could get my allen key in and screw that on so that goes on there and then you screw it in with the allen key and then obviously the little plastic disc on the top once that's all on then the next step is this, mach this part and that then can be placed on that way there are some screws there that line up with the four screws here like so and once that is on there we're already using the inside four screws and now these outside four screws are the screws for the stepper motor so I'm going to build that all up and show you a quick video okay so that's it um, all connected up so like I say that's all on solid tight now and the motor steps in obviously with the other uh, half of the coupling on the shaft and they just then slot together in the middle, a um, bit fiddling around trying to get the right distance on the shaft, um, and then obviously bolted up to there. And we've seen this before, that's in another video, so I'm not going to go through this now, but basically when we tell it to do something, it now rotates. Cracking little piece of kit, I've said this hundred times now, um, and hopefully that then completes the, uh, the sort of sequence of, of how this is made, both the controller in another video, and the mechanics of replacing the stepper motor uh, onto the handle in this video. Okay, if you've got any questions, leave them in the uh, comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.